first open up that jar or package that it comes in, um, you get that aroma. It's usually one of the first things that comes to you. You know, how intense is that aroma? How layered? Deep in the Emerald Triangle of California's Humboldt County, a new kind of higher education. There's coffee cuppers, there's cigar catadors, and there's master chocolatiers. That level of professionalism is needed in cannabis as well. Derek Gilman is the managing director of Gangier, a program that launched in 2020. Students trek into rural cannabis country to light up and learn the ins and outs of top-tier cannabis assessment, including former NFL running back Ricky Williams, who now goes by Eric Myron. I decided to walk away, and the story broke that a famous football player quits to smoke weed, which is partially true. Now I'm a healer and an astrologer, training to be a ganjier. What types of skills are you learning here? The main thing I'm learning is the perception of, of flavor, of taste, aroma, smell, and, and being able to, to decipher and, and appreciate these things. More than half of all U.S. states allow medical marijuana, and recreational use is legal in 19 states. The global legal cannabis market was valued at $13.2 billion last year. There's three steps to become a certified Gangier. There's the online courses, there's the in-person training, and then there's passing the three exams. So it's safe to say this is intense. This is some real studying and work. It's thorough, it is rigorous. The program was put together by a panel of cannabis experts and covers areas like history, botany, cultivation, and business. Students are required to travel to Northern California for two days of intense in-person training. It was something that I really wanted to do, to have like a formal education in cannabis. Most of these figures, they're all kind of on that same level um, in this world. You know, like LeBron, LeBron James is known for basketball in his world. They're known for, for cannabis in their world. Students get tools to help hone their assessment skills, like a jeweler's loop. So holding it up to your eye, um, and then what you do is you take hold of your object and then you will bring it up to the loop until it comes into Ooh. focus. Whoa. Wow. And this kit teaches students how to differentiate between terpenes, the chemical compounds that give plants their smells. Close your eyes. You tell me, was this the first one or the second one? The first one, beta caryophylline. Your palate has begun to be trained. To earn the official title of Gangier, students have to pass two written exams and an in-person exam, where they walk a teacher through a cannabis assessment. If you become a certified Gangier, what does it mean? We have um, students and now certified Gangiers in all parts of the cannabis industry. People who are looking to enter the industry and are looking for a valid credential, you know, to help them in that process, to CEOs of companies, to directors of sales uh, for some of the largest cannabis companies on the planet. And as the industry continues to grow, there's hope programs like this will legitimize it. This is a legacy that we want to put into the cannabis industry to bring professionalism to cannabis, bring it out of the shadows, to give it the spotlight it deserves. Because you have lots of boomers who come in who maybe haven't touched this stuff since the 60s mm -hmm. or 70s. They don't know what to do, so this could be very helpful. Yeah, that's the but idea. A sommelier, when you're in that school, you take a little test and then you spit it into mm. the little... Right. right? Can't really not the really do the same here. Oh, that's true. <laughs> not the same here. First, I do want to clarify, I did not go completely on the job, so I wasn't doing the testing okay. portion. Okay. But that's well, where that's this so skill fun. assessment <laughs> comes in here because there are some strains that are less debilitating, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what it's about, is knowing, okay, this is my profession now, I'm just testing testing this out, taking notes on it, not going so hard during training, but they do have to take some breaks sometimes. Yeah, I feel like the process would get days. stretched out a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. A little bit. It would Brownie to. break. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting story. Thank you, Savannah. It was a fun one. It was yeah. a lot of fun Savannah, over here. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.